Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an overview of my candle collection. I've got it separated here by fall, winter, and then like pretty much everything that I just bought at either Candle Day or SAS. So I have a ton of candles to show you guys. This will be an update to my collection. I think the last time I shared was in the summer after summer SAS last year. So this is a big update for you guys and I am moving this month. So I will probably be packing up the ones that I'm not using pretty soon. So I figured I'd get this done now. So if you are interested in seeing my candle collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so just for reference, here is everything kind of laid out. These are all the ones that I consider kind of like non-seasonal. And then this is all winter and this is all fall. So let's go ahead and start off with fall. I don't have that many. I actually um, tried to use up as many as I could this past fall, um, but I did get some of these Goose Creek ones later on. Like I think I got these in November after um, Halloween had already passed. So I'll go through the two Halloween ones first. So I have Hocus Pocus 2, which is Halloween night from Goose Creek. Um, they don't have notes on this one, but I believe this one is the candy corn scent, if I remember correctly. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's basically like marshmallows and caramel. So really excited to burn this one for Halloween next year, this upcoming year. And then I also have Goosebumps Cupcake, which is um, dark chocolate and raspberries which I think actually will be perfect for this time of year. So I'm gonna keep this one out, I think, and burn it as a Valentine's Day candle. Just like put it in a candle holder so you can't see the packaging. Um, but I feel like chocolate raspberry is perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I have two pumpkin peanut brittles that I bought. Um, that was an online exclusive this past fall. The notes on this are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Just a wonderful peanut, peanut butter scent. It's like peanut butter on Ritz crackers. Just really, really yummy, and I'm really glad that I got a couple more so I can enjoy this one next year as well. I just picked up this pumpkin spice latte single wick at SAS. Um, I don't think this one, oh, it does have notes. It's pumpkin spice, fresh espresso, and whipped cream. This one to me has no pumpkin-y or spicy notes to it. It's just like a milky coffee scent. So I really like this one, and I got this one to burn in my office in my new place as a little coffee scent in the mornings. And then I have another Goose Creek one. This is Cherry Cobbler. Um, this one I don't really consider as seasonal. Um, I think I could burn this maybe even around like 4th of July as like an apple pie kind of scent, or cherry pie, I guess. But I feel like it would be kind of a fall scent just because of like the cobblerness to it. So I'm saving this one, I think, for this upcoming fall. And then the last fall one that I have is White Pumpkin from Bath & Body Works. The notes on this are gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. This is actually a um, international label, so that's why it looks like that. But I did pick this one up, I believe, at Summer SAS in 2022. Just a wonderful pumpkin-y spice scent. Smells like Hobby Lobby to me in the fall. That's what this one smells like. So those are the fall candles that I have left. And I'm really happy that I have these because I like to start burning fall kind of in like late July, early August. So I'm happy to have these ones to like start me off on fall burning when that time comes. Okay, for winter stuff, I had these two columns and then I forgot that I had Fireside. So I'm sorry, it looks kind of like lopsided and weird, but we will start with Fireside. Um, this one I did, I think, pick up at Candle Day. This was the only one with the like jar lid that my store had. The notes are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. I don't think I burned this one yet. Yeah, it is like so super city spicy. I think it'll be nice whenever I want to smell like a fireplace. That's really what it smells like to me, but I have not burned that one yet. And then this whole stack is Goose Creek and this stack is Bath and Body Works. So we have a cinnamon sugared pecans, which I think in my opinion is not just a winter scent. The notes on this one are warm cinnamon, toasted pecans, and brown sugar. Just like a super warm cinnamon cinnamony kind of scent. Really smells amazing. It smells like those cinnamon sugar dusted nuts. Like it smells so good. And then we have Perfect Christmas. This one I honestly could not finish in December. So I will save this for next winter. This is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. It is like the most kind of piney scent that I can do. But honestly, it was so strong in my house that I had to burn it out after like an hour. I just couldn't stand it. So we'll see about that one for next year. And then I have Peppermint Hot Chocolate. This is one of my absolute favorites in Bath & Body Works. 
Then it's our Cool Peppermint Silky Milk Chocolate and Sweet Cream. Just a wonderful minty chocolate scent, so I'm excited to save that one for next year. And the last Bath Body Works one is Cuddle Weather. This one is Warm Gingerbread Tea, a Cinnamon Shortbread, and a Cozy Blanket. This one to me is also like super duper spicy, so I'm gonna have to save this for like late fall, like November time, um, and try to get through that one. Okay, I hope this angle is slightly better. I have you guys propped up on the tripod now because my hands were getting really tired of holding up uh, the phone and the candle. So anyways, let's go through the Goose Creek ones that I have left over from Christmas time. So I have a gingerbread milkshake and I got through about half of this one, as you can see. Um, I really enjoyed it. It smells really yummy and like milky, but also cinnamony. Um, I think I'm gonna try and actually finish this and put it in my um, Project Wax, which is my rolling project to use it up for candles. So I think I will try and get rid of this one, but it smells really good. It's like a vanilla gingerbread. Next we have gingerbread donut, which I kind of regret buying actually, cause it is like super spicy but like kind of synthetic. So I don't know about this one. I don't really like it that much. So I hope I can get through it pretty fast like next year, next winter, but that is gingerbread donut, not my favorite. We have hot cocoa and peppermint. I love the packaging on this one with the photo label. I think it's really cute. This one is like basically hot cocoa or what is it? Peppermint hot chocolate from Bath & Body Works, but a little powderier. I think this one has like some sort of like, I don't know how to describe it, like baby powder powdery. Um, but it is, it is like Swiss Miss hot cocoa, um, but it's a little powdery. I don't know. It's not my favorite, um, but I did burn this one instead of Bath and Body Works this year, but it's not my absolute favorite. And the last Goose Creek winter scent is chocolate drizzled popcorn. This one was really fun. I thought this was like a unique scent um, and it really does smell like you're popping popcorn. It's kind of funny. I don't know if I like it that much. As you can see, I burned it quite a bit. Um, it's very unique. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Um, neither bad nor good. <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about it, but that is chocolate drizzled popcorn. Okay, I'm trying out one more camera angle with a different tripod because I couldn't get you guys low enough. But anyways, let's move on. This is all of the candles that I got um, during the past SAS. So they're not necessarily seasonal, but I kind of group them by like spring and then summer is over here out of the camera view. I've actually been burning this one in my bedroom lately. It's such a beautiful scent and I've gotten through a little bit of it. The notes on this are bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily and pink salted amber. Just like a wonderful, perfumey, super simple body care scent. I really, really like this one. And then I have down here two champagne toasts. So this one is the White Barn label, bubbly champagne, bright berries, and juicy tangerine. And this one actually came in one of the gift boxes this past year for Christmas. Um, I just like swapped it out with a different candle to give to somebody and I kept this one. And then right here we have strawberry pound cake. This one is actually from um, winter 2021 SAS. And it's kind of changed coloring, but it's still a wonderful strawberry pound cake scent. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I'm melting this one or burning this one right now, and I really, really love it. Then we have some more white barn ones. So we have a vanilla bean. This one is Madagascar vanilla, homemade marshmallow, and nutmeg. This one I was really excited about because I've actually never burned it, um, but I've heard it's super similar to um, peppermint marshmallow, and that's one of my favorites. So I'm excited to try this one. And then this other white barn one in mahogany teakwood, rich mahogany, dark oak, and frosted lavender. This is one of Ryan's absolute favorites. And then we have a couple from the SAS collection. This first one is Unicorn Sprinkles. This is from the Vault collection. This is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon. Just really smells like sweet tarts to me. Smells really good and I definitely will enjoy this one in the spring and summer months, especially when it's hot here in Houston. And then we have Wine Cellar, which I have not burned yet, but I'm very excited to try. This is mold apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. This one I feel like is so sophisticated and so fun, so I'm really excited to try this one. And then we also have banana bunt cake from the um, vault collection. This one is sweet banana, toasted walnut, fresh cinnamon. Most of the time I don't like these like banana scents, but this one really does smell like banana nut bread. And that's why I got this one. I love banana nut bread, especially in the summer. So I'm excited to have that one for the summertime and that will be really fun. Another great summer candle I think is Ginger Lime Twist. This one was a candle day uh, release candle. And this is fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. This one to me smells like, um, kind of like a mojito, 
that's what it reminds me of. It smells so good. And that's one of my favorites uh, cocktails for the summertime. So that is Ginger Lime Twist. And then we have this beautiful sweater collection, fresh coconut and cotton. I had this one last year and I really enjoyed it. So I got it again. It's coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. Just a wonderful kind of like fresh laundry coconut scent, especially good for the house. I think this would be really nice in like our living room when people come over. And then pistachio and toasted vanilla, which I actually burned this morning. I'm obsessed with this one. It's salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds. Super simple scent. It really is just vanilla and pistachio. I wish that my wicks didn't look like this, but they do. Um, but this one wafts really beautifully in my house and I'm totally in love with it and I'm sad I did not buy more because it's like a beautiful soft vanilla scent. All right, we are nearing the end. So this is my kind of stack of coffee kind of candles. The first one being Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Hot Cocoa and Cream. This was the blends collection from this past um, candle day. The notes on this are decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. Now, okay, I know this is not a coffee scent, but it kind of matched the packaging, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this one really just smells like a cinnamony hot chocolate. So I like this one and I definitely will enjoy it, I think in the fall months, especially. And then we have a Paris Cafe, which I've been burning currently in my um, office area. This is rich coffee, brioche, and vanilla creme. Super strong, super fragrant. Just the, the wonderful Paris Cafe that we all know and love. It smells like you are grinding, or you're at a coffee shop that's grinding coffee beans. And then one of my personal favorites, this is from the Blends Collection from Summer SAS in 2022. This is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe. The notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, and ground cinnamon. Oh, and sugar crystals. This one is so, so good. And I'm saving this one for a special occasion, but it is the most wonderful, like, cinnamon spiced latte. Oh, it smells so good. And I will be really sad when this one is gone from my collection. I think I bought like five or so of them and like melted through three within a one month time span. I was so obsessed with it. The next one I have is sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. Definitely going to be a um, summer scent. The notes are sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. It smells like a blueberry lemonade. That's really what it smells like. Um, I would say the lemonade definitely overpowers the blueberry. Like maybe they just put like muddled blueberries in your lemonade, but it still smells really good and very fruity. And then I have this gorgeous graphic collection. I don't know what to call it. It's really pretty, but this is black teak wood. This one I thought would be perfect for Ryan in his office. This is rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. So beautiful. The scent is so, oh, this is what you want your man to smell like. It smells so, so good. So that one is for him. And then we have a mahogany coconut, which to me kind of smells like fresh coconut and cotton without like the laundry portion. Another wonderful summer scent. This one will be really nice when I don't really want fruity and I don't want bakery because it's too hot outside. This will be a perfect scent for that time period. And then I have a pink petal tea cake back again. This one came out in summer SAS of 2022 and I actually bought this one, um, I believe at candle day. Notes on this one are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. This one, just smelling it, reminds me of this past summertime. Just that's when I burned it and it was really great memories. And it's a really nice scent. Not my absolute favorite, but I can definitely appreciate it for what it is. And um, even though I'm not a big florals fan, I really do love this one. We have two from the 4th of July collection. This is red, white, and blue cake. The notes on this are red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. So this is basically like a berry cake. Really, really nice and I think perfect for 4th of July time. So I'll definitely be burning this one then, but that is red, white, and blue cake. And then we have buttery popcorn, which I thought was another really fun candle. So I picked this one up. Um, even though it came out in the summertime, I picked this up at, um, I think SAS or maybe candle day. I can't remember. But buttery popcorn is melted butter, fresh popcorn, sprinkle of sea salt. So it really does smell like buttered popcorn. Kind of like an AMC movie theater. Um, I feel like their popcorn smells the strongest, I guess because of the certain type of butter they put on it, but it really does smell like buttered popcorn. So this would be fun for movie nights. I don't really know a good occasion to burn this one. I think just whenever, but that's buttery popcorn. And then the last one that I have to show you guys over here is my last homeworks candle. I melt through my homeworks candles pretty fast. 
Um, and this is my only two wick that I have. Oh, sorry, this is a three wick, my only three wick that I have left. And this is in Cozy Weekend. It's described as a rich and comforting scent with notes of cozy woods, roasted almond clover honey, and vanilla. Yeah, I really have been enjoying this scent. This is actually in my Project Wax right now. And as you can tell, I've gotten through a lot of it. And I really like it. It's a perfect kind of transitional scent. I don't really want Christmas scents right now. I don't really want spicy scents. So this one has been really, really nice for just kind of everyday burning. So that is everything for my candle collection. I have 38 candles right now. I think I'm actually at a good point um, in my collection versus last year. I'll put up my numbers if I can find them from last year, but I think I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm about on par with where I was in January of 2022, which is around 40 candles. I go crazy during winter SAS, and I really don't buy a lot of candles from now until like the end of summer, until summer SAS or until fall. So I'm feeling pretty good about my collection. I have an array of scents that should last me through until a while, <laughs> at least until this upcoming fall. Um, when I usually purchase a lot more candles. So that is everything for my candle collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.